In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove or delete a Facebook account of someone that has deceit, that has been deceased or passed on. Um, this is something that we hope we never have to do, but unfortunately, in the event that you will have to do something like this, um, here is the way to do it. So this is called a memorialization request on Facebook. And you do that by going to this contact page here. You can get this specific page down below in the link in the description. I put that down in the description box. So just tap on it if you're on mobile and click on it if you're on a desktop. So what you will need to do is you will need to submit a monetization request. And it goes in by saying, you know, they send their condolences and uh, please visit the Help Center for the most up-to-date information. And um, it says, if a family member or friend uses this form to submit a request, the account goes into a special memorialized state unless the person has requested to have their account removed when they pass away. Memorializ memorialization is different from uh, removing the account. Removing the account is gone. It just wipes it out. It's completely gone. But memorialization will allow people to go in and post to their profile. Uh, no one can log into the account after it's been memorialized except for um, someone that has been uh, deemed as a legacy account. And uh, as it says here, memorialization, memorializing an account will do things like keep the account secure by preventing anyone from logging into it. The account will still be visible on Facebook, but the only person who can man manage a memorialized account is a legacy account selected by the account holder. So the account holder would have needed to go into uh, the memorialization settings on their account and um, given a legacy contact before they had passed away. And if the account holder hasn't selected a legacy account, the account won't be actively cared for by anyone after memorialization has been requested. So no one will be able to access that account after memorialization. It can, people can only be able to post on their uh, Facebook profile page. Um, keep in mind that if the account holder requested to have their account permanently deleted after they pass away, Facebook's going to remove the account once we're made aware that they have passed away. And if you'd like to request an account be memorialized, you can let that you can do this form here. So this is what you need to do. Um, who passed away? Please provide their Facebook profile URL link. So you'll need to put their URL link in here. Or if you can't find who you're looking for, trials try a special request form. When did they pass away? You're going to need to put the exact date. But if you don't know the exact date, please get in touch with a family member or friend who knows it. They will need the exact date and the documentation of death. Please provide a scan or photo of your loved one's obituary, death certificate, memorial card, or other documentation confirming that they have passed away. If your documentation is online, you can also attach a screenshot of it and you can visit their help center to learn how to take a screenshot if you don't know how to do that. And then you'll need to provide a valid email address that can be used to contact you. And if you need help with costs related to your loss, you may want to consider creating a fundraiser on Facebook, which you can do from this link right here. And then you just need to hit this blue send button here at the bottom once you filled out all of this information. So this is how you either memorialize your account, someone's account, or you remove or delete their account after they have passed away. So I hope you found this video to be helpful for you. If you did, please uh, click the like button below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I'm doing a lot more uh, how-to videos on social media in the near future. Thanks for watching.